let's watch the weird video that Kamala sent in uh, because she she couldn't be there personally because she was doing a rally somewhere. That's what she claimed. Kamala Harris from Colin Rugg. Kamala Harris releases her pre-recorded video for the Al Smith dinner in New York that she didn't show up for. Um, so yeah, this didn't get a good reception. And keep in mind, the Al Smith dinner is a is a Catholic event. So there she is. She's the Catholic schoolgirl in a skit from I guess 30 years ago. Um, I guess that was the tie-in. Uh this to be honest, I never thought this skit was I think there was good stuff back then on on Saturday Night Live. I never thought this was funny myself. Uh, but they <laughs> boy oh boy, this is what they thought uh would work. Your eminence and distinguished guests, the Al Smith Dinner provides a rare opportunity to set aside partisanship. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, what's going on? Who was that? Oh, sorry, Mary Catherine Gallagher. Uh, Mary Catherine Gallagher, it's so nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Mary Catherine. Right now I'm trying to record my speech for tonight's dinner. Oh yeah, I know. I just want to say that I'm a Catholic and tonight is one of the biggest dinners next to the Last Supper. It is a very important dinner and it's an important tradition that I'm so proud to be a part of. Sometimes when I get nervous, I stick my fingers yep. under my arm. Uh, yeah, but she's not a part of it though, right? Important tradition. The last person, it was Mondale who like, who won one I think one state or two states or something back in the 80s. Mondale was the last one to miss it. It's an important tradition, and you're not a part of it. You just made this insanely cringe video and sent it in. I mean, what could she really do, though? She's not going to perform well at the event. Like, she's, 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 like, she's not good around people, right? That's the problem. So I guess maybe this was the best option, but um, I think she needs more talented people around her. There's a nice symbol like that. Mm. Mm. That's gross. So tell me something. Um, I'm giving a speech. Do you have some thoughts about what I might say tonight? My feelings about what you should say tonight would be best expressed in a monologue from one of my favorite made-for-TV series. Okay, let's hear it. Don't you see, man? We need a woman to represent us. A woman brings more heart, more compassion. This is still all they have. Woman, she's a woman. That's it. I mean, she's got, she's got, she literally has nothing else. But you think they'd pretend that she did every single time. This is it. She's raised in a middle class family and she's a woman and she's a woman of color. That's it. That's it. That's what they start with every single time. And think how smart she must be to become a top contender in a field dominated by men. It's. Do you mean to be anointed? Anointed as the new puppet to replace the old puppet? How smart she must be? I'm not sure smarts really is the key to the whole thing. I'm sure, not sure it's that. I think maybe it's corruption, possibly. A, a willingness to take orders. Time for a woman, bro. And with this woman. There you go. Time for a woman, bro. <sighs> Just give up on the male vote. You're not getting it. You don't know how to get it. This, <laughs> It's totally pointless. Just no. Just concede the male vote. You're not getting it. That's not going to work. She's a woman, bro. I, I Let's continue. We can fly. What series was that from? Oh, that's from House of Dragons now streaming on HBO Max. Is there anything that you think that maybe I... So the whole that whole little speech there that was supposed to convince everybody is... Um, I, I know it's supposed to be funny, right? <laughs> I, it's hard to remember that. But the whole thing is just that uh, she's a woman and uh, we, she's smart. And she's a woman. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not convinced, I have to say. Shouldn't bring up tonight? Um, well, don't lie. Thou shall not bear false witness to thy neighbor. Indeed, especially thy neighbor's election results. Just so you know, there will be a fact checker there tonight. Oh, that's great. Who? Jesus. And maybe don't say anything negative about Catholics. Oh, uh, God. It's just cringe. I'm not going to make you guys keep watching this. I'm not going to force you to keep watching this. Xerxes says to Kamala, it's all a big joke. She can't get off this woman thing. It's all she's got, right? It's just this cynical appeal over and over and over again. Woman of color, woman of color. That's it. Streamer says, this is so bad. It certainly is terrible. g Flood says, the difference between Mary Catherine Gallagher and Kamala is that I laugh at Kamala being cringe. <laughs> I never thought that was a funny sketch. Let's see. 
Nevada says, I never thought this Mary character was funny. This was when Saturday, La Saturday, Saturday Night Live started to be not funny for me. You know, it's had good periods and bad. So there was some good stuff during that time period that when it really became unfunny, just wholly unfunny, just the entire show week after week was after Trump got elected. Because that was just wokeness in entertainment had just come into its fullness. It's full corruption. And the bandwidth of what they were allowed to make fun of became so narrow, right? They had such a narrow band of acceptable targets that, uh, yeah, it just became, it became, what well, became this, actually. Xerxes says, people are suffering and Kamala provides nothing. But she's a woman, though. She's a woman. Let's see. And she was picked. She was anointed by the elites who don't care about you. So there's that, too. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.